Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and today I want to talk about X-Plane 10 Plane Maker program. This is a really cool program and most of you are probably thinking, wow, well, wow, well, it's just for making airplanes and I have no use for it. Not true. And I want to show you how I use this. Uh, this is a Piper that I purchased uh, from Shade Tree. And I have contacted them and they have given me permission to use their uh, files. And so this is their airplane. This is their instrument panel. And I wanted to change this. I don't particularly care for these radios. I want to change the GPS, put a Garmin in there. I really like their instrument. So, uh, so I just want to make some modifications to this and move things around so I can uh, see what's happening more without having to scroll down here and scroll over here. I want to put more things up here. So uh, let me show you how I did that in X-Plane's Plane Maker. So I took a screenshot of the original Piper and then here are the modifications I made to it. Um, I changed the radio stack to a different radio stack. I replaced the GPS and I moved some other things around I believe. Yes, I added these green lights here to let me know that the gear was down so I didn't have to scroll down and look to see if the gear was down. Um, and I made a few other changes. I don't need to point them all out to you. I just want you to see what you can do in Plane Maker. I also took the panel and opened it up in Photoshop and just made it a darker color. I prefer the darker color panel. So that's just a few things you can do in Plane Maker. Um, the other thing I did uh, with this plane is I wanted to use these instruments in my own plane that I'm building in Plane Maker. So let me show you what that looks like. So I've been wanting to build my own airplane for some time and I've been working on this for about six months. I finally figured out how to make a 3D cockpit using uh, Blender and some other programs. Um, but here you can see in my airplane I took the instruments from the Piper and then the GPS and the radios and all, all these other features are they come with X-Plane so uh, you just drop and drag the instruments you want in X-Plane Plane Maker into your instruments. So here's the airplane that I made in Plane Maker. Obviously there's a lot of work to be done. I've just started. I have no idea what I'm going to finish. There's a whole lot of smoothing that needs to be done. Obviously you need a, a paint job and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, but, you know, I have no experience in this. I'm no professional developer at all. Uh, but I was able to pick this up relatively quickly. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and you can create your own airplane, as I am trying to do here. I don't know if I'll ever finish it. Um, but more importantly, you can modify your favorite airplane and get things where you want them. I like having my lights right here, limiting my landing gears down. I don't have to look around. I can set... Um, the autopilot up here, instead of having to scroll down, some airplanes make you scroll to the center console uh, to uh, set your autopilot and things. So that's it. Uh, these are the things that you can do in X Planes, a plane maker. I hope this encourages you to jump in and start playing around with your favorite airplane and maybe even trying to create your own as I'm doing. So I hope this video helps you some. If you like it, uh, please click the like button. Um, if you want to leave a comment, that would be really nice. So thanks again for watching, and God bless.